Hey, don't flick me. I do good. All right, guys. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect fried egg. All right, first step. Cast iron. Second step. Lard or real butter. And don't be gross. Don't pretend lard is gross because that's what we've been cooking with for probably like the past 5,000 years or more. Second step. Make sure nothing goes bad. Third step. Turn it on high, maybe a little less than high, and let it melt for a second. Alright, once it starts to slide off like that, make sure you spread it around town. And this lard and real butter will actually stop it from rusting, and it seizes in it. And if you cook bacon in it, before you cook anything else, you'll taste bacon forever it's that's a wonderful thing about cast iron plus cast iron will never ruin even if you leave it outside for 15 years you could still use rocks to knock out all the rust and sand it down all right so you just let all that um you know uh brain fart you let all that melt and then once it's close to melting, turn it down close to low. And the cast iron will still keep its heat even though it's on low. Right. Another step. Farm fresh brown egg. The brown eggs are much better. And this came out from our um, pen that you can see right there. Maybe kind of blurry because of the screen window. But we have chickens that lay these. You just crack that. Let's see if I could do this one handed. Uh oh. What happened? There it goes, all busted and everything. Has it busted? Well, clearly, this isn't going to be the best egg ever. Before you mess with the spatula, make sure you get all that gunk off. Okay. Man, it's gonna be one bad egg. I don't even know why I'm still making this. All right. Usually sea salt is better because that's actually like the best salt out there. Oh, I haven't mocked yet. But don't go easy on the salt because that'll also help the pan. Do we have pepper? Here it is. Okay. Since we don't have a regular pepper shaker, we're gonna have to use this, and I'm gonna most likely put too much but that's okay all right let that cook all right now what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's cooking you know like before you flip it Make sure that it's starting to get hard where it's not running up there. And use your spatula and loosen it up. It makes it easier to flip. Yeah, okay. See right where all that pepper is when I do this? It jiggles. Yeah, that will still run. So... We need to let that cook a little longer before we flip it. I think it's about ready to flip. You want to do that with your spatula. Make sure it doesn't stick. Alright. And then flip it and with cast iron it'll still keep its heat so turn it off. And I gotta sneeze. Holy crap. Because, all right, it's been about I don't know, ten seconds on there, so it's 
probably about done. So, I know there's different ways you could get it off the skillet, but since cast iron is heavy, it's easier just to pick up the egg. And then what I do to make sure the other side is done is I flip it. Yep, and that's done. Is it done yet? Yep, your egg is almost done. Are you doing good cleaning that even though it's not plugged in? I'm still mopping. Okay. Alright, so there's your egg. And before you really start eating, this is the important thing. Since it's hot, you get your rag. Clean it up, and that's all you have to do with cast iron. And all that is seasoning it. And then you just put it up there, it doesn't really hurt anything. And that lard that I've cooked with, it'll season it, and each time you cook, it'll keep an egg flavor, which is kind of interesting how that works because cast iron, it's not smooth, it's bumpy, and it holds the flavor. And this lard will harden, and it'll, it'll just make it completely rust-proof and everything. So, there is the not-so-perfect egg, and I'm going to give it to my little brother. I gotta turn that light off. I did that for you. For you guys. Come here, Daniel! Oh, you gotta finish cleaning? Oh, that's blurry. I apologize. Yep, come on. The house is still dirty. Oh, you could clean right after you eat. Okay. Oh, yeah. In that big fish tank? Right there. That's a catfish. A bullhead catfish. And a perch. That'll be another video. Alright, come on, Daniel. But how can I just cool down? Here you go. No, it's not. I cooled it down. No, you didn't. Look, I'll blow on it. Okay, it's cool enough. Okay. He is avoiding this. Alright, so he doesn't want to eat, so I'm going to try this egg. I could already tell you this is one of the worst eggs I've ever cooked. Mainly because of the yolk busted and the amount of pepper that I put on it. But I'm not going to show you guys when I take a bite because I didn't put on my makeup. I'm just kidding. I never put on makeup so I'm always pretty ugly. So I don't want to break my camera. Hmm. Well. I mean, if I was about to die of hunger, I might consider eating this, but I probably wouldn't. I'd just probably rather die. But, you should try doing this sometime. You know, just don't add as much pepper. And don't bust the egg yolk. It's a lot easier with two hands, trust me. Living is a mess. Hmm. Whole house is a mess. Well, alrighty, guys. I'm June Jr. And I guess this counts as a vlog, I guess. So if you haven't yet, subscribe. Even though I'm pretty sure this uh, video. You would unsubscribe after watching this, but oh well. Alright, like, comment, share. I don't know why you would. Because I'm pretty sure this video is trash, but oh well. Anyway, this has been Junior Junior on my channel. How to Bass. And, uh, well, I don't know. See ya. Because I can talk, woman.